Hi everyone, welcome back to Trading Point. I'm sorry to say our trading strat was nerfed, uh, but first winners. Cartoon Kitty and Little Bit, you both won Steam Keys. Congratulations, contact me to claim your key. Uh, Twitter, Tumblr, Steam, Discord, or email are all fine. And thanks again to John H. at Gleamer Studio for the keys. We appreciate them. Uh, but now, back to the issue at hand. Yeah, right now I have people out gathering uh, mainly wood for us. Uh, because, uh, yeah, we need a ton of planks to get our research academy up and running. And we want that as soon as possible. Um... But yeah, back to our trade strat. It was nerfed within hours of posting our last video. If you remember, we planned to trade those amazing tapestries. Sells for 135 silver up to 157 silver. Those tapestries are only selling for uh, 54 silver now. And when you look at that price, it seems fine. But the cost to import the wool is gonna keep going up and the price we get for them is going to keep going down. And I don't think the margin is there now to cover that. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what we're going to do that. So even though we bought, even though we bought the wool already and the mats for the bedding shop, uh, I'm not sure if we're going to even bother going that route. We might just cut our losses. But we'll get to that when the caravan gets back. For now, we need to work on our town. Um, we're still playing on extreme and we're far from stable. So let's see. We have 71 wood now. Let us... We're going to bang in all three people in this sawmill and uh, get them working on planks for us. What do we need? We need 70. Right. And, uh, and let them get to work. We also need... We don't have clothes. Our water is... a. Uh, hanging on by, you know, a thread. Do we have enough wood to build this other house? We do. Do we want to build that house there? Uh, we do. There's a lot of jobs over here. And what do we have? We have one point. Let's go ahead and go to processing and get weaving so we can put in the advanced tailor, which also is going to cost 60 planks. We might be out of clothes for, uh, you know, for a while. <laughs> we don't care. It's fine. It's all fine. Okay, so we're going to put in our tailor right over here. Uh, let's pause that. Oh, and it's... Do you think we should... It's already um, April. I think we can live without food, but I think we need... I think we need to get some flax coming in. Um, let us just... I don't know that we're going to have time now that we've already missed a month to plant this whole field. But you know what? We're going to try. Let's close everything down. Hunters. One lonely miner over there. And, yeah, let's try. How many people do we have? 11? Let's open this bad boy up and see if we can't get this. Uh, flax is a shorter growing crop. Let's try and get some flax going. See what happens there. And then we're also going to need a weaving workshop. I'm thinking about our clothes. Like, food we can kind of uh, be okay. But we really need... We really need some linen for our clothes, so, yeah. Is this where I usually put this this textile mill? Do you remember from Cardinal Point? Probably. Let's go ahead and put that there, and we're going to pause that as well. Oh, and I never opened up the field. Okay, I guess we're not getting linen this year. <laughs> so, you know what? Since we already shut everything down, let's make it worth a... Uh, Let's make it worth it. Let's just keep stripping all of this stuff. What are we going to need? Some more, some more rocks and whatnot. 
uh, because I'd also like to build a bigger pasture for these buffalo. Uh, leather. Uh, leather sells for like four and a half silver. So uh, it could make a decent enough trade good. Do we have any? Uh, there's a ship. No floaties. And how are we coming along on these planks? Uh, probably okay. Let's increase the priority on our research center because that'll be good. We want a lot of trade points for, uh, for, for reasons, you know. We have a broken foot, but I believe we ordered some medical alcohol. So these people are getting back to work, which is nice. I really wish we had a chance to get a flax harvest in, but it is what it is. Now for, what else are we gonna need? We're gonna need, we're gonna need sand mining, and then we will need clean water. Once we have those two, every single other point that we get is gonna go into our trade and trade goods. But we, re we do need to get the you know, the minimum. Oh, and look at that, perfect timing. Our caravan has returned. So what do we have in the caravan? Yeah, we ordered that 500, uh, 500 wool at two silver each. And now those are only selling for, what, 54 silver? I don't know that we want to go, we want to even build the the bedding workshop. If you'll remember, we'd still need to, um, one, we'd unlock toilets, which is absolutely a complete waste of points. And then two, the bedding. It's not that expensive. Maybe we will. But I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so decisive, right? Uh, for right now, let us... We're going to put these four... As soon as they unload their... Um, the wool and the herbs, we're going to put our five uneducated workers in the mine. Uh, just because according to the wiki, the, the mine doesn't have a, a performance penalty, uh, so they're not gonna collect less coal for us. So uh, I think that would be a good use of those people. And how are we doing with resource collection? We're doing pretty good. We have 162 wool now. Let's get another builder on. Uh, sure, Cecil. And yeah, let's, we don't want I just want uneducated people in here for right now. So Elaine, you're gonna work in the mine and Geoff. There you go. Was that four people? Yes. Um, yeah. So I really don't think the bedding is gonna work out for us. So I looked at absolutely everything that we had um, to sell and I cannot get away from uh, the gold sand. Gold sand is relatively fast to produce and we can, you know, we can farm sand, sand ourselves so we won't need to import it. And if we're going down the gold sand route, uh, silver ore, it, I mean, it used to be a really good uh, trade item because you get 30 silver for it and there'd be no cost, uh, like quick, fast, 30 silver, it's a no brainer. But you can also turn um, one silver ore into 40 silver uh, with the minting. And that does not cost, it's not gonna cost a huge amount of labor. 
and there's not going to be a risk because we're not going to send out a caravan and whether you're buying or se or selling um, each transaction you do earns you faction reputation so I think minting is a good option the reason why you wouldn't ever use it before is because it's so slow um, but trading is so slow now that yeah I mean that makes minting good now so I think I think we are going to go down the uh, mining route and then we might supplement with you know things like uh, tapestries and whatnot but routing but mining is going to be the way we're going to go do we have any points yet no it's only been a second and the game's been on pause now we're still going to stick with we are still going to stick with rainia for our first trading partner because uh one we already have reputation uh two and we're you know well on our way towards reputation three um i think two more trades will have reputation three unlocked she also does have some good uh, some good rewards and they're all trade focused so for trading point it only makes sense uh, the gem mine this was significantly nerfed as well um, gems used to sell for the I want to say the 90 to 100 mark but now they only sell for uh, 27 so I mean they were nerfed <laughs> poor poor Rania did not make well make out well <laughs> uh, but the thing about gems is from my little bit of playtesting with them they mine faster than silver uh, so the gem mine could be worthwhile as well they have a grand bazaar um, can own more caravans this is like the equivalent of a large trading post but it also lowers the price volatility caused by trading with factions uh, so um, I would think that if we unlock this sooner rather than later, um, our prices might, you know, like ordering stuff, the prices might stop increasing and lowering our sale price. So this could be really good uh, to have early. And then her last reputation rewards, uh, price of traded goods increases by 25%. When you consider that reputation is earned, by the silver you spend uh, what that is is an increase of fashion gain by 25% is what that amounts to so that is you know that's that's pretty good too and then the Sankor um, all citizens can receive education here now I have not built this I do not know what the mats are to build it um, but I believe there was a according to a dev in discord with this building built, everyone is automatically educated. They don't have to go to school. They're just born educated. How amazing would that be? So yeah, I don't know. I don't know if Rania would be our first choice if we were starting over. I think she might be. Um, just because these rewards are all trade focused and it would be nice to have them when trading with all the other factions. Uh, but either or, we're going to stick with her and uh, see how we make out. We're going to go the uh, minting coins and selling gold sand route, uh, which I, I think is uh, reasonable. We have, we're getting uh, our advanced tailor up. And what else do we need? We need water. And for water, we need sand, so let's build this out here. Uh, one of the things that we haven't really talked about, I don't think, is we're no longer, we no longer have to be so tied to like the coast, the shore, and the water because, uh, because we can unlock a water tool. But for right now, we don't have that. <laughs> and, uh... And yeah, so to the to the river we go. Sandpit, yes please. 
Sure. And then... Do we have any points yet? I don't know why I keep expecting points to appear when we don't even... When I don't leave the game running. <laughs> it's a mystery to me. Okay, we don't have any food coming in, so I think we need to get these hunters back on the job. And I said I wanted a bigger pen for the pastures, uh, for the buffalo. Or do I want to leave a space? I think I should leave a space. gonna cost 182 wool oh wood but yeah I would like to have that leather uh coming in I mean we're still I mean it's only year four <laughs> so there's only so much we can do uh, but I'd like to have that leather coming in just a bit more than we would get from that small pen so yeah that makes sense to me let's do that and because we're putting in this Uh, sand pit. Let's get a house down here to uh, for some workers. And are we ready to trade? Now I have all these lofty goals. No, we're not ready to trade. You know why we're not ready to trade? Um, oh, we have two points now. Nice. Uh, let's get clean water for the water reservoir. Uh, because we're going to need like more water in order to produce the alcohol the town needs to survive. <laughs> um, uh, but with trade, I want to get down to well-known reputation. And this will increase uh, the rate we get uh, faction points by 25%. Uh, so we want that yes please and we also want overloader uh, increases caravans max carrying weight that'll give us uh, 500 more weight so yeah let's activate that and then when we have three more trade points and get this done we'll send off another caravan uh, mainly mainly to buy the materials that we'll need for the our like mining operation here. So we need a lot of points. What is that? Six, seven, eight-ish? Yeah, we want a lot of points. Is everything done? No, they still have some more up here. I would love to be able to catch that alpaca up there, but it's not gonna happen, I don't think. It is what it is. Uh, back to our bedding shop. Do we want to build that? Maybe we do. Let's see, where is this gonna go? Yeah, right there. Stupid roads messing up. there is room for I don't know like a three by three stockpile on each side of this I'm uh, I'm thinking if we're gonna put a bedding workshop in and I'm not sure that we are but I think I might use up this little bit of area right here uh, just as a temporary place to put that kind of stuff See, but if we do the bedding workshop, that's two more points that we have to spend. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do it. You know? Really don't. So we have a house going in over there. Let's get some houses on this side. Where, um... So a road would go one, two, three, four. I don't know if I want these like uh, smushed up against there or not.
decision making. It's so hard. Okay, yeah. So we'll get a, ho a house going up here next to the sand pit, and we'll get one down here next to the uh, research academy and the mines and the trading posts and all that good stuff. Water is not great. We finally have some wood, though. You know what else we don't have? We have one tool. I'm an idiot. Uh, let's get that in and let's get that back up to uh, 50 and let us get some down jackets being crafted. I can't believe we didn't run out of down coats. That is like a first. Um, oh yeah, but we don't have any linen. And for some reason, uh, I thought you could make down jackets out of leather and feathers, but no, you can only make down jackets out of leather and wool or a pack of wool. So you know what, let's make it out of a pack of wool. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And what are we doing? You're setting these at 50? Sure. Go for it. 50-50? And now... Now what? Let's put... Uh, let's put Cecil on water fetching. Let's get another builder. And I think we need... A distillery is our next thing and for right now I think there is absolutely fine let's pause that and let's increase the priority on the sand pit I think I think yes and we have two points and yeah, we're going in on trade, right? And then as soon as we have these, one more point and we'll send off another caravan. I think would be good for us. Uh, planks are done at 70. Oh, I forgot. Okay. So that is gonna free up a ton of workers for us, which is good. Um, No, let's not do that. But you know what, let's put somebody on our duck feathers, or our goose feathers. If we get enough of those, maybe we can uh, we can trade them, ship them off. And we're out of tools. Sorry guys, I messed up. But it's fine, it's all fine. Okay, so we have a bigger pasture going in to increase the amount of leather we have coming in. Um, we have enough, we have enough coal. We just got the last trading tech point that we were looking for. Um, yeah, so let us, let us look to see if we have anything on the horizon here, like some, some tasty wine to sell. Let's give that a couple minutes to get into our inventory and then we will, uh, happy Lunar New Year, by the way, everybody. Um, then we'll get a trade formed to sell everything that we have and more importantly, uh, buy our way into making money. You know, it takes money to make money. Uh, so we'll buy the materials that we need for the minting for the mint and the gold miner's cabin and um, maybe we'll get a deep mine as well. A scarecrow for our field, I think would be good. Maybe we can get some more builders now. Do we have our hunter cabin open? We do. We have some tools now, let's get, oh. Let's get her out of the smithy. And we are short on food. Oh, and there's nothing to gather anyway. Is there nothing? 
I think we'd have to come over here maybe to gather some stuff. Yeah, that is the ticket. Uh, hopefully they should be wearing um, down coats soon. So let's start tracking those. And that will help. And do we have that wine in our inventory? And I'll be, I have no idea. Where's, where would that be? Spirits Premium 99? Okay, let's form a caravan. And in order to do that, this is annoying and a mistake. We want our uneducated people to go because if the caravan dies, uh, yeah, didn't we decide that that would be a good, <laughs> uh, that that would be okay? So how are we gonna do this? It's so complicated. I wish you could like just assign people to the caravan but you cannot. It's going to take them from the labor pool. So the only way to make sure that the people you want sent forming the caravan are the people that are going is to pull from the, only allow those people to be laborers. Do we want 2.88%? This is going to be a big trade. We have 14,000 silver here. Um, maybe, maybe we want six people, I think. Okay, let's do, you are, you're a laborer, that's five, and then one more, um, yeah, let's just do a minor. laborer okay that is six people and let's buy what we're gonna buy let's form a caravan and we have a technology point which is good happy about that we're going to trade with rania we're going to send six people we are buying insurance and what do we have to sell um do we have any food simple food we have some rice cakes sure rice cakes uh, dumplings. Oh, we have 128 dumplings. Okay. How we got that number, I do not know. Let's sell those. I think we just received some wine. 99. In you go. And do we have anything else that we can sell? It would be nice if I had like a overview of all that textile materials. Um... Let's sell 108 feathers. Is that everything we have to sell? I think it is, because we're not doing anything yet. Okay, so that's everything we're selling. And now comes the buying part. This is going to be a big order. Um, let's see, we'll need 80 glass. 60 steel? Maybe? 60 steel? Uh, building kits, a massive 140 building kits, uh, lanterns, 120. Do we still have the lanterns that we had? So we only need 110. 110 lamp oil, we need 80 lamp oil. And let's purchase those. And then we would need tools. We need toolkits, 20 of those, I believe. Um, what else could we buy? Um, let's get some scarecrows. That will increase our crop yields. What would they be under, traded goods? Yeah, let's get a scarecrow or, or maybe two. Let's, two. let's vote two for now and see how that works out. Let's see, like two scarecrows. Let's buy the bedding that we would need for the hospital just in case we don't end up putting in the bedding workshop. I would like to have that material on hand just in case. 
Yeah, let's get the 10 bedding that we need. Wow, that's 14. 14,000. Um, how much room do we have? Not much. We have two scarecrows, some bedding. 80 glass, 60 steel, 140 building kits, 110 lanterns. Maybe we get... Maybe we get like a... This is so expensive, but let's get 20 more medical alcohol. Oh. And what is this? I guess there's a limit of the two, four, six, eight, nine. I guess there's a limit of nine different items that you could buy. Do you see how all of this is uh, grayed out? So the only thing we can do is get more of what we're already buying. Uh, but no, I don't think we're going to do that. Okay, so let's purchase this. We have a ton of stuff going on. We have a 2% risk of death. Uh, I hope that does not happen because it's, it's going to be a pretty sad day. We'll only get, I think the value is like 80% of this transaction if everyone were to die. And, and of course we'd lose all those people. Uh, but let's do it. We're trading with the right faction. Away you go. And I don't have anybody in the clinic, so let's get that. Uh, why don't, oh, because let's close the marketplace, put somebody in the clinic. And what, who else lost a job? We have somebody doing coats, somebody doing tools. Our repair shop is still working. And uh, yeah, we still have some hunters, so that's good. Now our six people are gathering up all of the materials that we have here and we have somebody working on those geese i'd also like to put in a 20 by 20 pasture maybe i do that yeah i don't know and they are all see you later guys Do good things, don't die. If we lose that, I'm gonna be pretty upset. Yeah, it's gonna take us, uh, uh, this trade isn't gonna do it, but I think the next trade that we do will push us up into level three, and then we'll have uh, the dyeing mill, which is creates kind of an alternative to silk using cotton and water, and the custom tailor where you can use this material right here in the custom tailor the custom tailor lets you make down coats pretty cheap as well and then there's the gem mine which i think even though they sell for so few uh silver now i think that might still be worthwhile as a filler good kind of like the way that we used our uh, feathers trying to sell as much as we could to make the most out of it uh, let's go with clay and sure we'll put two workers on that and let's put in our water reservoir sure that's good and another house down here for those people working there and i think we would also need what some trade uh trade um uh some stockpiles i think would be in order. I'm not going to be happy about the way I'm laying this out because I'm just uh, putting stuff in for the sake of putting it in. Can we put it, fit any more houses on this road? We can. You know, that is close enough for the water. It's fine. It's all fine. And I, we missed harvest time again and we really need to get on this. Um... Are we gonna have, let's do, do we wanna do food or linen? Well, you know, we have enough to get some coats. So I think we do, it's foolish not to do some food considering we have so little. 
so let's do rice and rice grows pretty quickly and let's close everybody down to, to uh, get this done uh, oh nice we'll transfer people to we'll transfer our cattle to this field soon um what is that seven people Well, I guess we can close down tools. It's not very many people, is it? Uh, the repair workshop. Nine. Get it done, guys. You gotta be really quick. Could there be anybody else I could shove on there? You know what? Let's do... This is probably a mistake, but let's do the church and the clinic as well. A couple more people. This is all hands on deck. We're late for the... Uh, we're late for planting so yeah it's always exciting and I guess the only thing we're waiting for is to see whether or not our caravan is successful right we have four points let's go ahead and get all of the Boom, all unlocked. We get all of that. And I think we will put those buildings over here. And as soon as uh, the caravan comes back or fails, uh, we'll get started on some more interesting trades. Uh, but I think that's going to happen in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Congratulations to cartoon kitty and little bit i'm so happy for you and yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the episode and will leave a like if you did your likes and comments are appreciated and they matter the content you like is scheduled more frequently also consider subscribing if you are new i'd love that too uh but that's all for now i hope to see you all soon Bye bye